Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this quick little video regarding The Fiend and Goldberg. We're going to talk about why did The Fiend lose the title to Goldberg and uh, we're just going to get straight into it. I think it's very obvious that Roman Reigns is going to be leaving WrestleMania with the Universal Championship. Vince clearly wants to put the title onto Roman. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there's been rumours that it was going to be Fiend versus Roman. And then in the past few days, those rumours changed. Uh, and it was then being reported that it was going to be Goldberg versus Roman. The only thing is, I wasn't expecting that to be for the title. I thought the Fiend would still be champion. Uh, and so we would just get a battle of the spears, uh, Goldberg versus Roman. Uh, but it seems like that match now at WrestleMania is going to be for the Universal Championship. Um, and I think that Roman, since he came back, I think it was just around a year ago, um, he's been getting a lot of positive reactions, positive responses. And I don't think they want to jeopardise that. So they want to put the title on Roman. They want him to still be cheered you can't achieve both of those things if Fiend is the champ. If Fiend stays champ and he goes into WrestleMania and Roman beats Fiend, Roman's getting booed, right? So what they've done, they've had the Fiend drop the title to Goldberg tonight. Goldberg goes into WrestleMania as champion. Roman beats Goldberg. That way, Roman becomes champion. Roman gets cheered. Um, I've seen online a lot of people saying, like, I really hope Goldberg's on SmackDown tomorrow. I really hope that they're going to boo him out of the building. This is all playing into WWE's hands. This is exactly what they want people to do. They want you to tune in tomorrow. They want you to boo Goldberg, one of the things that we've not really discussed is the fact that Fiend changes people. Um, so Goldberg is a face. Um, he's been a face now for a while. And what if when we see Goldberg tomorrow, he starts to show some heel tendencies? I'm expecting it because Fiend changes people. And also they're going to want Goldberg going into WrestleMania as the established heel. They want Roman to be cheered. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason for it. The other thing that I read that was quite interesting was Brad Shepard uh, came out on Twitter to say that he'd been told that in Vince's eyes, um, Fiend versus John Cena, which is the rumoured match for The Fiend, um, that is as big a deal as a championship match in Vince's eyes, a match against John Cena is as big as a championship. So he feels like he's taken the title away from The Fiend, but he's given him something equally as good for WrestleMania. And that's a match against one of the greatest of all time. Now, I do understand that theory, but it's not in line with what the fans want. The fans wanted Fiend to uh, stay champion. But more than that, they wanted the moment where he lost the title to really make sense. Uh, Rambling Rabbit had teased, you know, there's a way to beat the Fiend. The Fiend is beatable. Uh, and it turns out the answer to that is a rubbish jackhammer. That's all it takes. So we would theorised about, do you have to take the mask off? Do you have to turn the red light off? Do you have to break the lantern? Uh, what do you have to do? to beat The Fiend, um, and uh, I really wanted them to explore that. I, I would have loved for different opponents to have tried lots of different things and failed, and then finally someone cracks the puzzle, someone solves the riddle. Maybe it is taking the mask off during the match, uh, exposing the face that then does something to The Fiend, the darkness just momentarily uh, subsides and so you're then able to get the advantage and get the victory or you know there was so much that we could have explored there was so much that we could have explored um, but we didn't we didn't get chance it was a clean win for Goldberg and that 
That is what stings the most. I can cope with Fiend losing the title. He was always going to lose the title at some point. But a clean loss to Goldberg is not something that you can undo. It's not something you can undo. There's theories out there that um, Fiend wanted to lose the match. That doesn't hold water because, of course, uh, he kicked out twice. He got hit with a spear early, kicked out. Got hit with three spears after that, kicked out. So if he wanted to lose, he could have lost. He had opportunity to stay down. So I don't believe he wanted to lose the match. The other frustrating thing as well, and this might be quite controversial... I actually would have preferred if they had booked this like the Brock Kofi match. Kofi lost in seven seconds, but I always felt that he was, um, you know, he made a mistake. He went running in towards Brock Lesnar, got caught and lost. Didn't so much lose the match. It's not as if he got absolutely battered. It was just a moment of madness. It was a mistake. It was one mistake. He ran in, got caught. Brock won, so yeah, you can say it was seven seconds, it was short, but he made a mistake. It doesn't matter when you make that mistake, it can come half an hour into a match, ten minutes into a match. Kofi did it in seven seconds. Um, I felt that Fiend made a mistake, he kept his jacket on, I say this during my reaction video. So that means that there's going to have to be a point where he's taking his jacket off. At that point, he's vulnerable and that's exactly what happens at the start of this match. He starts to take his jacket off. And as he's doing it, spear by Goldberg. I actually would have felt a little better. Not much better, but a little better if that spear had been delivered with real venom. The Fiend's head had smacked off, say, a turnbuckle. Or it smacked hard off the ring. And you could clearly see he was momentarily uh, out. He was startled. One two, three, maybe even a questionable fast count or anything like that. I would have preferred that to what we got tonight because what we got tonight was a spear, a kick out, three spears, a kick out, fiend on the offensive, mandible claw, mandible claw. There's a moment in this match where all of that early getting jumped being hit with spears is done. It's in the past. We got to the point where Fiend had the advantage. And this is what just really hurts. Is he had the mandible claw in. He was in control of the match. And still Goldberg got out of that. Hit an awful jackhammer. And won. I mean let's not forget that Seth hit 11 curb stomps. Uh, I don't even know what was happening inside Hell in a Cell and all the carnage there. You know, if you think about the the match at Royal Rumble uh, and everything that Daniel Bryan was doing and they were strapped together and there was no red light there. So clearly the red light wasn't an issue. So uh, and Daniel wasn't scared either. So I've seen people saying perhaps it's because Goldberg showed no fear. Well, Daniel at the Royal Rumble showed no fear. So it can't be that either. Um, so, yeah, I kind of I really feel that this is just the worst way that you could have him lose. Because they could do a rematch. But who cares? The damage is done. There's no mystery or mystique anymore. And I don't know. This Just for a, a match against John Cena, I don't think that's going to be enough for people. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts as to why it's happened. Um, I really don't like it. I'm in the same boat as uh, everyone else. I am intrigued to see if there's any way of saving this. Um, I don't think there is. I can't find it. I still can't find it. It's hours after the show has finished and I still can't find it. All I can see online is anger. I always like to try and find the positive and I'm struggling with this. I think what Brad reported makes a lot of sense in Vince's eyes. Bray's getting something as good as a championship match at WrestleMania, and that's a match against John Cena. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.